I realize I'm doing this in my shop in a professional work stand, but hopefully this will give you an idea of how to break down your SNS coupled tandem and pack it in a case. The tools you're going to need are an SNS wrench, an 8mm Allen wrench, and a 3-way Allen wrench. The SNS wrench I'm using is our shop one, the one you get with your bikes a little smaller. First, we'll take apart the chain at the quick link. Then we'll break apart the easy split cable separators. There's three of them. Two for the gear, one for the brake. Then we'll go ahead and take the rear derailleur off. I like to take off all the things that sort of hang down and might get caught in packing. We'll take off the front disc brake. This bike has a disc brake. If you had V-brakes, you would just take off the one lever that, or the one brake arm that's attached to the cable. Take off the stem and the handlebars. The cables should just pull out. Everything on the bike is designed so that it's easy for packing. Take off the timing chain and crank arms. They come off with the 8mm Allen wrench. And then we'll undo the SNS couplers with the wrench. You can see that uh, nothing should be forced. Everything should just spin right off. There's four couplers on the bike. And again, just, you know, um, a good push with the wrench and then things should just thread off by hand. Now people ask me all the time how long does it take you to pack a bike and it doesn't matter how fast I can do it. The more you do it the quicker you'll get. Uh, the first time you do it it's a little frustrating but you'll get better at it as time goes on. Now we're gonna add the padding. All of the tubes that you take off should have padding and I try to label them before I send the bikes out so everything should be kind of just follow the steps. And now we're ready to pack. When you're packing the tandem, the best thing to do is just use a little logic. Again, nothing should be forced. Things should go in smoothly. And it's a little bit like a puzzle, but again, you shouldn't have to force anything. Things should just sort of naturally fit where they're going to fit. Just take your time. Again, the first time you do it, it might be a little slower than the third time you do it. And by the fifth or sixth time you do it, you won't even remember how much trouble you had the first time. So just take your time, use a little logic, a little bit of patience, and everything will fit well. Now I'm going to lay all the pieces in here first. And then what I'll do is when I get everything in and in place, I'll take some zip ties and I'll make sure that everything is secured and nothing is going to move around and have a possibility of denting anything. But keep in mind that SNS bikes are moved by baggage handlers and people who don't really care about your fancy expensive tandem. And the chances of getting things dented and scratched is definitely there. So just take a little caution and a little care and you'll be fine. Now the handlebars go in. The wheels will be in their own case, so you've got a lot of more room for extra stuff in the other case. So just take your time, you'll be fine.